the peeps with people see far in your face and I am here showing you guys my two favorite class setups that I have on Phantom Forces. I'm going to be showing what the gun is, you know, what attachments I have on it, and I'm going to be showing you what it is good for. And I might even do some explaining on what maps these guns work the best on. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Okay, so first up we have the SKS. So on this gun, I have the Cobra Sight R2 Suppressor Vertical Grip and Laser. I have the Cobra Sight because I love the crosshairs on it. It's not, uh, it's not too, like, too stuffed up of everything, and it has a nice shape. R2 Suppressor, I use it because I like to be stealthy, and the Vertical Grip, so I have a little bit of lesser recoil on the laser just in case I have to do some hip firing. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna go ahead and describe maps this is good on. So the SKS it is um, well recommended for crane sight because you'll be in those buildings. Uh, you'll be able to drop people pretty easy from a medium range distance. Pretty much what this map is a medium range distance. Now, if you were on the crane and trying to uh, snipe with the SKS, I there's not much luck in that. You might be able to um, finish off someone if one of your teammates was already shooting them. So that is a possibility, but not likely. So moving on to the next map this is good with. So next we got Rabid 911, or uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Rabid? I don't know. So this map, I'm going to go ahead and put up pictures of the map. So, this map, I'd say it's a, you do pretty good with it, but it's not exactly the kind of gun you would want for it. Now, if you were on one of those rooftops, you would have a good chance of hitting some shots. So, if you're trying to do long range shots and you get a hit marker, after that, just click the, uh, your mouse like one or two more times after that. Because once you get like a far range shot, you're pretty much good to go as long as they don't move. So it's pretty good for that map. Moving on to the next map, City Mall. City Mall, uh, if you're shooting it from one side to the other, it's also pretty good. It is, but uh, like on the stairs and all that, you might want to have a Deagle because those are not easy. But other than that, it's okay. I'd say, like, SKS all around is a pretty good gun for most maps. So, next map is, let's see, Highway Lot. Highway Lot, ah, this is map, okay. So, if you're doing King of the Hill on this map, it it's an okay gun. You'll be able to shoot down that hallway and get a couple kills, maybe. So, it, but it's not a, uh perfect map to have the gun on. So, let me think. If you're in that office area, this, uh, the gun won't suit you well there. So it's not recommended to have that uh, in that office. So I'd give City Mall, like, it's an okay to use, but you probably shouldn't. Moving on to the next map. We have, let's see, Desert Storm beautiful favorite map to use the SKS on. Now, it's it's a really medium range map unless, you know, um, someone out there is way out of the map sniping. You can't really hit them if you're lucky, maybe. It's not often that you can, though. But, uh, Desert Storm, pretty good map. You have a lot of medium range encounters. A lot of M60s on that map, I see. So, I don't know Better be all hope. Ah, uh, jeez. How do I explain this? You should hope that you can shoot quickly. I'm I'm pretty good at it myself. As you can see right here, I was you know just able to pop, pop, pop like that, and then I actually get two kills. I got a triple, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, Desert Storm, pretty good map to use it on. And Crane Sight Revamp. I think this is more of a sniping map. So, Crane Side Revamped is a map that came out recently. 
It's regular crane site, except it's extended, it's winter. It's a, overall, it's a really good map. It's awesome that they, it's extended. There's two cranes that you can go on now. But I wouldn't exactly recommend it. So, it's up to you for that one. And then the last map, Metro. The, this is the map that I'm doing right here. It's in a pretty good map to use it on because you got those, you gotta do a lot of shooting from there. So I'd say it's pretty good. Pretty nice. So, time to move on to the next class I use. Okay, so now we're moving on to the M4. So we have the Comp 8 point, PBS4 suppressor, folding grip, and laser. The Comp 8 point, it's more of a uh, tactical kind of scope. And it also looks pretty nice. It's also simplistic, you know, just a red dot. PBS4 suppressor, it's just a suppressor. You know, you can grab any suppressor you want. You can even look at the stats for them. I just happen to like that one. So the folding grip, you know, just for the decreased recoil and the laser because this gun is a more of a hip fire gun, in my opinion. So let's get on to the maps this is good with and some gameplay to go along with it. Okay, so the M4 is thought of to be a generally newbie gun, even though it's actually pretty good for a starter gun once you get some attachments on it. So here we have some gameplay of this. And this is a short range gun, as you know. So, maps, I think it's good on, well, let me think. On crane sight, I'd say it's pretty steady. I'm actually, no, I'm playing on private. Crane sight, it's okay, as long as you're uh, in those buildings, you know, having walking around those tight corners and finding enemies. It's really good for that. But otherwise, now, if you burst fire this gun, you know, I don't like using putting my gun on burst because I like being able to just unload into a dude. But if you just like tap your mouse and burst fire it, like yourself, then you can actually get some medium range shots with that. So that's pretty nice. Moving on, we're having uh, 911, the map I'm playing on currently. I actually did pretty good with it in this scenario. This is good for rushing the spawn. I'm gonna go ahead and call it tank spawn because wow, there's a lot of tanks over there. It's good for rushing that if you come around on the outside, throw a nade, you know, shoot some dudes. It's pretty good for that. And the building I'm spawning in a lot, like that map. I mean, that map, eh. This room, it's actually pretty good in. Me and this dude were going back and forth for a minute here. So it's pretty good for that. And then next map, we have City Mall. City Mall, uh, like I said, it's pretty good for those staircase areas. But uh, you might be able to do some rooftops. But there's usually a lot of snipers on that way, way up rooftop. And next to that sign, so you got to watch out for them if you're trying to run the M4 on that map. But, um, also on the lower levels, if you're obvious and you're down the, that hallway, like, you need to watch out because there's a lot of, uh, burning snipers. So, it's okay for that, but, I uh, wouldn't prefer it. But if you are planning to, like, rush them and all that, this is a, just in general, it, the M4 is pretty good for rushing. Moving on to the next map. Highway lot, really good if you're playing King of the Hill. Because, man, most of the time I play this game, if I get that map, if I get highway lot, then it's King of the Hill usually. It's really good for that because you could just rush and kill them all. Uh, pretty good. And otherwise, as long as you're not, as long as you're not on that parking lot up there sniping, then you're pretty good because the map is close quarters for the most part, unless you're sitting far out on the map. Unless the enemies are sitting far out on the map anyway. So, next map, Desert Storm. Would prefer it for this map because, like I said, medium range map, good for the SKS though. But if you are playing, wow, I mentioned King of the Hill a lot. 
If you're playing King of the Hill and you're trying to rush that point, it can be really good, but um, you have to be very cautious because there's always people at uh, at the point. They're usually running M60, so you gotta be careful. I've never touched the M60. If you saw my stats, I actually have zero gun kills with it because and any other LMG because I just don't you don't tend to use them. Don't really like to anyway. Um, you can hate me, but I think it's newbie. So, continuing on, we have crane sight revamped. No, I just don't think it's good for this map. I'd really recommend don't because yeah you have like that gas station that's close quarters but there's not a lot of close quarters after um after you know the gas station and some other small rooms after that it's just long range snipers and you know medium range guns so I don't prefer it for revamped and last one metro Metro is actually pretty good for this gun. Um, I'd say so because if you're caught up on the stairs and you just need to be able to get back up there, up the es escalator, then yeah, the gun's really good for rushing. And yeah, you could just uh, flank them, go around them, flank them, capture the points that you need to pretty easily with that. So I uh, recommend it for Metro. Run around and blow up the system. Don't mind that. So yeah, that is it for the two classes I use. I I do have a recon class, but I don't touch it much. And you know, I snipers are up to you, really. Uh, myself, I use the Remington 700. I think. Yeah. Now that is the gun I don't use a suppressor on, so yeah. Um, anyway, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. That's, uh, that's about it.